This is the talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate. Where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Lonnie Moore here with Realty One Group Music City. Hey, and Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team. And welcome back. It's Sunday welcome evening. Welcome back. We survived Christmas. We did. We did. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. I was thinking about you. Connie and I were talking about you yesterday, Carrie Ann, that well, I wouldn't want to be at Carrie Ann's house and have to take down 14 Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about putting them up, not so much putting it down. <laughs> as I, I was it. helping Connie with her one and feeling like, a, you know, I don't need being a good husband. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, guess who's in the room tonight? I mean, we like, now hey, it's regular. I love it. <laughs> I know it. Man. We're gonna change Mr. the the title of the of the the show now. Yeah. And Jason Hoover. And there you go. <laughs> I love it. Well, we learned so much when you were in the house. So thanks for well, being thanks. here again. Thanks, I love um, it. I appreciate, appreciate you it. coming back again, Jason. We we were hitting on some really important topics last time, talking about goals and so forth. And it is that time of year, is why I wanted you to come back and talk about that here in a few again a few minutes. So how did how did things go with? Uh, all those trees and all those people at your house. Oh, it was, it, you know, this was one of the best Christmases that we've had in a long time. There was so much magic. Like I said, I think last time I was so excited to see Aubrey's eyes when she came down, you know, to see that one thing um, that she asked Santa for. So it was a magical it was a giraffe Christmas. Or- she got a little giraffe, which was good, um, but she got that uh, electric guitar, uh, guitar, excuse me, electric car that she wanted. Now, oh. keep in mind, I was, I got a call a couple days before Christmas, um, and um, I didn't think the car was going to make it. So then I got on Amazon, and nothing was going to deliver in time. Right. And so I was, what am I going to do? You know, I had one of those mom fails, a little bit of a tear, like, how am I going to let my kid down? You know, she's only asked six Santas for one thing. You know, <laughs> this is, we don't have any backups here, you know? Um and Did you then, teach her to how to diversify, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> and so I put it on social media, and so many people were funny to say, just tell her it's out of getting an oil change, you know, or <laughs> something like that. Santa mm. had to drop it off, you know, to get it ready to go right, type of right. thing. But come to find out, Lindsay, which is my number two at the office there, she's great. She's my go-to to help me out. She found it in Laverne, so it did make it no uh, wow. the day before Christmas, wow. so it how was much, a lucky day. How much of a raise did she get? I know, right? She's, she's I mean, because I was stressing, and I could not figure out how to do this. And I waited wow. two hours on hold, you know, to get this uh, this company to call me. But she magically made it happen. So a big, big shout out to Miss Lindsay for making Aubrey's Christmas come true. But did you have a nice holiday with Connie? We got out of the way. You know, that's where I, that's where I live. Jason, let's talk about yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. you, you know, you'll notice that I don't, I mean, I'm grateful. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I love it that everybody's having a good time. I didn't have great, a great childhood with it came, when it came to that that whole thing yeah but From, you took your wife on some special I took my wife yeah. on some awesome times we got our toes done yeah <laughs> we got our, i love we got that a hot stone massage and all that so yes it was a great christmas you know we learned about um it's not about what you get this year it's about what you give you know so right. we we tried to to um just continue to teach that this year so aubrey was giving everything that was already her toys away you know which was so sweet you know and she was she was putting unwrapped toys with cards underneath them this is going to go to this person this person you know she's so sweet so you that's that's the part of it remind them about the the meaning behind it all so how about your family jason it was fantastic. You guys uh, went to Arkansas, right? We did. Uh, we celebrate here, and then we uh, celebrate in Arkansas with her family. <clears throat> cool. And I love it because it's it's a low-key Christmas mm-hmm. this year. And, you know, the kids are getting older. Yeah. And uh, so we we actually gifted all of ourselves the um, that AMC A membership where you can go to oh, all these movies. Oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, you oh. can go like three movies a week. So oh. we've already been maxing it out. Did you already possible. go to your um, favorite um, <laughs> Star, Wars. Star Wars? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it sounds like, <laughs> looks <laughs> like. <laughs> that, that Star movie. You know? Star movie. <laughs> Obi Wan. Yeah, but was it really good? Did it, was, it yeah, hold it up to your fantastic. expectations? Yes, yes. Oh, awesome. You know, I I, I love it. It was um, it, it was really neat how they brought everything into uh, this final place. I'm cool. not going to talk too much about it because then you could get uh, oh yes people upset. But yes, it was great. I it was it. it was a good one. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, the weather a- was amazing. I mean, it was seventy degrees. We were outside yeah. on Christmas. You yeah, know, Aubrey got incredible. that car. She was driving everybody. What was cool about this car is that you, even Monty, could get in it. You might be a little tight because you're six five, but <laughs> you know, we got in. She was giving us rides to Kohl's, to Walmart. She had to go to the gas station. You know, you got to love the imagination of a six year old. That's fantastic. It makes it fun. But the weather was great. Was it nice in Arkansas? It was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, 
it reminded me, I was like, well, are we back in Texas? I know, Because right? we used to live in South Texas. Oh, okay. And Christmas, you decorated the palm tree, you know, and uh, you wore shorts. But yeah, it was it was nice. So Santa brought a snowman kit. Yeah, that's what he brought, snowman kit. It's 70 degrees outside, but she got a snowman kit. <laughs> she also got a snowsuit from from mommy and daddy she got a snowsuit i was like well not you're not probably gonna wear it today but <laughs> you know knowing tennessee it could be 20 tomorrow be 10, so you just never tomorrow. know so we're gonna be prepared if you don't like the weather just wait a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> i was like last year we didn't have any snow pants or anything to kind of get out in this the little bit of snow that we get for a hot minute but um yeah so i thought that was funny i remember one time it snowed in april oh right i yeah. mean you just never know you never know you know it is uh it is a crazy time for sure um but what are we talking about today? New Year's? Goals? Yeah. Boy, that's a great topic. New opportunities. New opportunities. Let's 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 erase the board and start, start over again. Over. Brand new start to 2020. I feel like 2020 is going to be a great year. You're going to have 2020 vision in 2020? <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> huh? Hyper-focused. There you go. <laughs> hyper-focused. That's right. <laughs> I love it. So we were talking clear, about, we were talking about Mr., with Mr. Hoover last week about goal setting and... and uh, Having a coach and those kind of things, so that would be a, an awesome topic. Are you a yeah. gamer for that, Jason? I am. Let's talk about it. I love it. <laughs> so, are you one to write down goals? Yes. yes. Dream goals. How yes. does how does one without, do that? Without writing them down, I think they're just wishes, aren't wishes, aren't they? Yeah. There's something about your your brain, and they've proven this that it it triggers um, in your brain that it becomes more real once you write it down. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if you're just thinking about it, it's this abstract thought. Mm-hmm. That you know, it's like you said, it's more of a wish than a goal, and then of course from the goal you make the plan. But yes, if you if you are serious about it, you want to write it down mm-hmm. and review it constantly. I believe you probably do that, don't you? I do. As a matter of fact, I know you do that because you sent me your <laughs> I goals. Did, I did. I did. <laughs> yep. And I thought, okay, here's a man who walks the talk. Yeah. He's not just saying, "Hey, guys, you need to do this." He's a doer. So do Love you break that. it down with with Personal and business, just business. How do you? Yeah, do I guess it, it depends on um, you know what type of goals that you're setting, but uh, you can separate it like that. Mm-hmm. And the you know the 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 business goals will marry into your personal. So you really kind of got to think about what what is it that you want to want to achieve, mm-hmm. you know, and you always got to reconstruct or uh, um, uh, reverse uh, engineer mm-hmm. it. Okay, and. So a lot of times it's it's that personal point. You, you know, a lot of people think, well, it's money. It's a money thing that I want to hit. Well, that's great, but is it really money, or is it what you can do with that money? Right. Oh, because sure. You've got to put purpose behind it, or it's it's not going to be you know, that impactful to your life. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to make two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's great. Right. What do you want to do with the two hundred? Yeah. What does that represent in your life? You yeah. Because that's the motivator. The freedom is it? Yeah. New car is it? What is it? Because here's Education. the thing. Okay, I didn't make two hundred thousand. Only made fifty thousand. Well, you're only talking about dollar bills. But if you're saying, "Well, I didn't achieve that freedom. I wasn't able to, you know, change careers or you know, uh, move or buy my first home," then that's more of an impact mm-hmm. than, "Well, I just didn't hit my financial goal." Hmm. So, do you break it down personally? Just your opinion. Do you do the finance, or do you do that? I, when it comes to sales, you want to help so many people, so many sell, so many houses. Do you yeah. break it down? How do you break that down? So, for me, and again, it, it, everybody finds right? their own motivators. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it is what I can, you know, not necessarily how many people I help uh, as far as finding the home, but what that impact is for them, for my family, and for what we're doing outside of that. Okay. Wow. Uh, because it has to be this full win. Uh, and I guess, you know, one thing that uh, we talked about uh, t- you know, the other day on the huddle call was mm-hmm. that, you know, what's your one word? And we can talk about a little bit on that. Well, my one word I shared was, is give. Oh, wow. That's powerful. And so it kind of plays into what you're asking is that, you know, my one word for this year is give. What does that look like? Well, give, it can be financial. It can be of my time. It could be of my uh my abilities, my skill sets, what I can give to other people. So for me, one thing that we have sat down and looked at is what can we give this year? What do we want to give? Mm -hmm. And in order to make that happen, then that starts backing up your reverse engineering. What do we need to make to make this happen? What do we got? How many homes and families do we have to help to make that happen? So that's why it becomes that full domino effect. 
Let, let, let's, let's detour here just for a second, okay? Because this is really, really important. When you shared that on the huddle call the other morning, that was, I, was, I think a lot of people were blessed by it, obviously by the responses and group me afterwards about yeah, people com coming great. up with, the, uh, with their one word. <clears throat> so here's the premise, Carrie, and there's a book called, and I, I can't remember what it's called. Is it called The One Word? It's like The One Word. I think it's something, something. like that. If any, you know, whoever's li out there listening right now, do yourself a favor, pick up that, that book. Oh, the one word. It's about a 30-minute read. It's really, really easy. Is it this one? The one word that will change your life? That's one it. word. Yep, that's, that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. There it is. Red, red cover. That's it. Yep. So talk about a powerful, powerful book. And just, it's it's about getting quiet because this is, it becomes almost a, a spiritual experience when you really get quiet and listen to your heart. What, you know, what what is it resonating inside of you that you want to, allow to build and expand in your in your life in your world this this year just one word mm. we need to continue talking about this yeah let's do yeah. that yeah. we are going to talk a little bit more all about goals and what 2020 is going to bring this year we've got jason hoover in the house you've been listening to the talk of music city real estate are you someone who is looking to gain wealth through real estate my name is Carrie Ann Sear and I'm with CMG Financial and my mortgage team. Whether you're looking to purchase your first home, a second home, or even an investment property, my team and I, we specialize in making the process of home ownership smooth as possible. With our vast variety of mortgage programs, our competitive interest rates, and our local support center, we have the ability to serve so many deserving families and help find just the right mortgage program to fit within your short and long-term financial goals. Mortgage loans is what we know and approving them is what we do. We'd be honored to help you begin the process today. Check us out at yourtnlendingsolution.com. That's yourtnlendingsolution.com. Or give us a call, always a friendly voice, 615-456-4456. That's 456-4456. We look forward to helping you and beginning your mortgage application today. Super Talk 99.7 WT and the talk of Music City Real Estate. Where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Monty Moore here with Realty One Group Music City. And Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team. And we need to incorporate this guy in the introduction as well. We and get Mr. Him part Jason of Hoover of the Hoover team. <laughs> I love it. I got to figure out what to say on, on that. I know. It's so good. <laughs> so we're talking goals. Yes, goals. And we uh, we left off talking about the uh, your one word. Yes, and you found the book, and uh, you actually already ordered the yes. book. Yes. <laughs> That's great. I'm an executor. I, I get it I love done. about her. She's a doer, not just a talker. Yeah, <laughs> yes. You know true. what I'm saying? So that one word, I can't say enough about this little book. I mean, I've seen uh, and heard about churches working on this one word, companies working on this word, mm -hmm. family, families taking it, everybody in a company taking, uh, getting their own one word, and then coming together and collectively, this is our company word. Mm -hmm. I, I would I would love to do that as a company, Jason. Yeah, I, would I think love it'd that. be great. Yeah, maybe some of our training sessions we can have, we can start talking about that and implementing because it'll make a difference in everybody's life. It does. And like I shared uh, with the group is, you know, it's probably arguably as important as setting your goals mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that you're, you, you set your word for the year. Because I know whenever I found out about it and was uh, taught that, it literally changed my life. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, because it was something that was so simple but powerful. Right, And yeah. you can implement it so easy. And it really comes to to truth that when you focus on that, it becomes real. Reality starts to happen. You know, what you, what you focus on expands, right? Part of that real of that, though, I think, is being okay with it expanding, that word expanding right. in your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ha my one word was, the last time we did it was process. Because I've always been goal oriented, where I'm trying to achieve a destination and success. You mm -hmm. know, the success is a destination, not a journey. And I had, and I'm, you know, 67 years old, as if that's some important number or something. I'm thinking I got to get there. You know, right. I'm still paddling fast as I can. <laughs> I got to get there. Re finally realizing through that, because it was the embracing of that topic of the process, that I finally realized. I finally, in, in, in my heart of hearts, realized it's not a. It's not about a destination. It's all about the journey. It's all about becoming the best person you can in that journey and how many lives you can positively influence. It is. And it's funny you say that because I, I kind of went through the same thing um, a few years back is that I always was looking at the end result. Mm -hmm. I've got to get to that end result. And it really hit me how much I'm missing along the way. 
Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> it's funny, my uh, my older brother, he's nine years older than I am. Um, he, you know, guess who got beat up all the time growing up? <laughs> um, uh, but you know, uh, Lord is funny because he made me bigger. So now, oh, there now it I is. get the upper hand. No, him and I, I, I love him to death. Uh, but one time, uh, he's he's had a lot of impact in my life and probably doesn't even know it. Uh, he actually gave me my very first book, uh, self help book, was how to win friends and influence people. Wow. Yes, yeah. Uh, so that started me on a whole different path. Wow. Uh, but back to what I was going to say is that he um, he has helped me uh, as far as slowing down because he just my brother being my brother one time said dude someday you got to slow down and smell the roses mm-hmm. and, I, and I was like wow you're right I could use a brother like that mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean it's kind of one of those slaps on the yeah, head yeah. you know and but it's true if you don't enjoy the journey then you've missed the whole point of it right what's the point mm-hmm. so yeah back to the word is you know my first word like I shared was I picked success and I just focused on success so much that it became my uh, my tagline in my coaching business, um, which was equipping you or is still today equipping you for success, mm-hmm. uh, because that was my, that's what I wanted to do. I placed a stamp on it and I owned that word. Everything I did, I focused on what does success mean, mm-hmm. and just you know, I I even had success for two years in a row because it mattered that much to me. Uh, but yeah, you know, different years, you, you pick different words. And like I shared uh, earlier was that, you know, this year it's give. Love that. So, you know, that's, that's what powerful. I'm going to be focused on all this year. Mm-hmm. So is that where your uh, statement of, you know, what is coaching? It's an intimate journey towards success. Is that where that idea came from? Is in there yeah, during that time? It is. I bet it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, because everything I did, I wanted to know, or I wanted to, I guess, capture as much of understanding success Mm -hmm. so that I can impart it into other people. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, everybody's definition of success Success is going to be different. different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where coaching came in to be, of how can I help them to find it and then capture it. Mm -hmm. Well, I know when I picked that word process, it made me a little gun shy the next time I do it because it does expand in your life. It does. I mean, whatever you pick, just make sure. And you really do this with a a heart that's ready for really embracing this idea of one word in your life, expect that to con- you know expand in multiple ways. It's sure. not just it's not just the happy high notes. You know, people yeah. like to focus on the happy high notes. There's uh, some low notes in there as well. You oh, know, yeah. and, and uh, so be ready for that. Sometimes you got to reset. Uh, I mean, uh, if you're if you're going after health, for instance, mm-hmm. be ready to be health challenged in that arena. You know, that's why I'd, that's when I <laughs> leave her way. I've got it. You know, if, if, anyway, so. Uh, it's but it's all good. It's yeah. it's all good because it helps you really, really uh, you know check your own heart. I think about things that matter most. So this year is process for you. That's your word. No, that was mine before. Do Just, you have a it word? Taught me a lot. I haven't gotten there. You we just have... talked. Started talking about it this morning. So, oh. or yesterday, the other morning. During yeah, the I'm excited to think <laughs> through it too because mm-hmm. I think you know before I will say um, being someone who is very driven, my goals were unit set or from a sales sales standpoint, you know, or maybe it was the the dollar. For me, it's always been how many families serve because I can convert that. Um, and if I keep helping more families, eventually I should make more money mm-hmm. type of thing if we mm-hmm. were caring about the, the dollar there. Um, but I was, last year was really just trying to go out and make a difference each day. Whatever I did each day, I just wanted to try to make a difference, which that com- com- um, started to, you know, multiply and it really made a huge difference in my life by making differences in other people's mm-hmm. lives. And then all of a sudden I started inspiring some other ladies and things. Cause in my world being a female, there's, you don't realize there's not a lot of other females as crazy as I, <laughs> you know, I just laugh cause I'm like as driven, you know, to like, just mm-hmm. keep going, you right. know, there's, we get tired, we're a mom, we're this. So we get sidetracked, you know? And so it was kind of cool to realize that, you know, what I think is, being a little crazy, just getting out there constantly, you know, working and doing and doing kind of inspired some other ladies to get up and maybe um, do a little something too. So that was kind of cool to to know. But so this year, you know, I have a lot of family changes in my life and um, it's made me realize, you know, um, you just don't sometimes know what our plan is. So I want to get out there, maybe do something I've never done. You know, I've had the, the plans from eventually I'll get to do that. Eventually I'll maybe put the ink to the paper and do that, you know? Mm-hmm. So maybe this year I'll, I'll um, be able to get to all that. We'll see. 
They say what a goal has to scare you a little, but excite you a lot. Mm. Scare you a little, but excite you a lot. Mm-hmm. That, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. And I, and I think what you're touching on there, Carrie Ann, is a good reminder for all of us that, especially when we set these audacious goals, you know, that that's awesome. But let's make sure we we understand that we're not promised tomorrow, and that we mm-hmm. embrace today. You know, can we <clears throat> can we give a shout out to your mom? Oh, thank you so much. Such a such a powerful lady. I mean, it, she, just. Seeing her response with the latest news that she's had about this cancer situation Mm -hmm. and how she's taken it in stride and uh, stand, you know, just, just not even, I mean, just anyhow, when I, when I read her responses on Facebook, I thought that's why Carrie Ann is as amazing as she is. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You know, um, being her oldest daughter and she's got four amazing kids, um, you know, you go down the list of why us and, you know, why this, and you just ask all those questions. And to my mom's answer is because God has a plan for me and I was supposed to teach somebody about this specific cancer. Mm. And I thought that was so powerful because Mm. to me, I, um, she's already thinking about how she's making a difference, you know, in somebody else's life and a doctor's life. This is a very rare cancer. Nobody knew about it. Um, it took a long time to, for them to find it. So mm. we're very blessed to know that there's only three doctors that focus on this cancer and one's here in Nashville. So that, we're that's, blessed. That's to a there. miracle right yeah. there. If that's miracle. not a reminder that it's all going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I and it's going to make us stronger. You know, God's got a plan yeah. maybe pull the family back together, even in a stronger, stronger Amen. bond for sure. So, um, well, we have a lot more to talk about. We thank you all for tuning in tonight. We're going to continue our discussion on goals. You've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate. My name is Monty Moore. I'm the broker owner of Realty One Group Music City. I've been an active real estate broker for over 35 years now, personally selling thousands of homes. That's why I recently opened Tennessee's first Realty One Group office. As a real estate professional, would you like having it all? Cutting edge technology, full support, world-class training, same day commission deposits, all for free. How about strong collaborative culture, national brand recognition, new high exposure, easy access office, and a non-competing broker committed to your success seven days a week. Now let's top that off with all experienced agents receiving 100% of their commission from day one. I know, where's the catch, right? There is no catch. Call us today and schedule a confidential meeting and learn why Realty One Group is the fastest growing real estate franchise in the nation. Call 636-8244, that's 615-636-8244 or go to topagentsuccess.com. That's topagentsuccess.com. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate. Where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Monty Moore here with Realty One Group Music City. And Carrie Ann with CMD Financial and my mortgage team. Carrie Ann, I've, I have to apologize to the listeners. I forgot to remind everybody, please send your questions to yes. questions at talkmusiccity.com. Or hashtag Talk Music City. Yes, and this show is also a podcast, so you can listen at your leisure. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Music, and other podcasts, or you can watch us on Facebook. Simply search the Talk of Music City. Jason Hoover, <laughs> let's talk some more yes. about goal setting for the year. I know that uh, it's time to get audacious. It's time to get crazy. It's time to think out of the box, probably. So I like to approach goals with, okay, here's my goal. Here's my stretch goal. Yes. And here's my dream goal. I believe the subconscious mind in many respects can't, it just doesn't really question what you give it. it it's it's more of a command, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's got to be real. It's got to be doable. And I think that it's so important to be real because you don't want it to, to, to be counterproductive and, yeah. and discourage you. At the same time, I always put a plus sign after my goals. Even my dream goal, I put a plus sign on because ah. I never want to limit what God can do in me. That's my approach on it. That's even true. at 67. That's even amazing. At 67. I love even that. an old guy like me. <laughs> I love that. I mean, that's really awesome. You know? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Um, and, you know, knowing the, you know, you know we're, we're, like elementary in understanding how our brain works, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And that fascinates me. Mm-hmm. Is that something so personal to us, we don't hardly know a whole lot about. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so going, you know, talking about the subconscious and conscious mind is, you know, somebody told me one time, picture your brain, you know, that it's in a dark room because it is, it's closed off. If it didn't have eyes, it didn't have ears. Oh. 
um, and that it only believed what you told it to believe. Mm. Yep. And that changed my life. I'm like, wow. And there's some people that will argue that, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, affirmation, speaking affirmations doesn't work. Mm, I know better. Yeah. And sci- scientists are proving that it does work. Mm-hmm. You speak things into existence. We've heard that before, right? Mm-hmm. So we speak things into existence by repeating it. Now, if you are not going to believe what you're saying, then yes, it's not going right, to work. Right. Or execute behind it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. But the more you believe it, right. and the more you speak into it, it will happen. Mm-hmm. And because you start owning it and you start becoming what you're you what become you confident within yes. that. Yeah, for sure. So going back to the goals, that's why I write them down. That's why they say write your goals down mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, review it constantly. Um, and I've got it in a, a tab. And, you know, obviously I'm very techie. I like the, yeah. the, you know, the little Google Sheets and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, and I've got it right there. It's open all the time. Oh, that's mm-hmm. good. And I'm constantly, I'll go back in it. And I think, you know, one thing that's very important, it's not just setting the goals and creating that plan, but you've also got to measure it. Mm-hmm. You've got to keep going back to mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. And, and seeing where you're at mm-hmm. as far as being on track. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and that's why I keep it open all the time, you know, so that you can shift. Mm-hmm. Uh, but going back to what you're saying, you know, having these different goals, yeah, you've got to set that. You don't want to limit yourself. But at the same time, what's funny is that essentially we all limit ourselves some somehow, some mm-hmm. way. Right, right. Um, but feed into your dreams, feed into your goals. Mm-hmm. You're going to have other people take away. All right, that's probably one of the hardest things because, especially if you're bent to to need your love language is affirmations. Uh, there are some people like that that are, you mm-hmm. know, there's also some people that are intrinsically motivated. You know, you've got to separate yourself from those people, all right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. If, you're, if your goals are, you know, like everybody's agreeing with you, mm-hmm. then maybe they're not big enough. Right. Maybe they're not Ooh, crazy enough. Yeah. Right, right. So. They're too safe. Shouldn't just scare you, it should safe. scare others. Yeah, that's a good way to <laughs> yeah. put it. Too yeah. safe. Too safe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they say, you know, I always love this and I, kind of remind Aubrey about it you know you aim for the moon and worst case you land among the stars you know Uh so like really go up there and push it as far as you can because worst case you know like last year I had a crazy goal and I didn't meet that goal but I was higher than last the previous year you know from from assisting as many families as we did so that was a win Mm -hmm. you know Um, but if I let it if I was comfortable with just being where I was I probably wouldn't be as passionate or as motivated you know to get there so a number there would be a number of lives that wouldn't be as wouldn't be blessed right now because Mm -hmm. you weren't pushing towards accomplishing more and making sure that the other agents knew about the fact that if because somebody's gotten turned down doesn't mean that you can't right right absolutely and Mm -hmm. you're right that's that's i love that part of my business because that person you really can make a difference with, you know, Um, you know, breaking, I love what you're talking about, breaking it down. So when it comes to sales, if anybody out there's, you know, in sales and you're, you know, you have that final number, you Mm -hmm. know, I then break it down into, um, you know, quarterly, monthly, Mm -hmm. weekly, and then Mm -hmm. daily, you know, Mm -hmm. to a point where I know I need to achieve so many tasks each day. Mm -hmm. Um, in whether they're called money making tasks and I break them down into and green and red, you know, that kind of thing. And then as you start to grow, you're able to have the ability to spend a little money. That was the other thing. It's hard to get some folks to understand by spending a dollar, you can make two sometimes, right? right? And like, right. and yeah. so as a leader and as a manager, sometimes it's hard for me to get some of my employees to see that they want to keep mm-hmm. the money that they have, and um, they don't have that vision of where that could take them, or they're very scared, you know. And so risks are a big part, you know. If you really want to go to that next level, you have to take a few risks, you know. That are scary, right? Um, and I always say, somebody told me a long time ago, just jump in the deep end and then learn to swim. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes this, Monty, you asked me to do the show with you, and. I, I'm so very grateful and thankful for this, but I didn't know what we were doing, I know. and I've never been behind, you know, uh, the the microphone. So that was just a, a big deep end of a pool that we jumped in, and mm-hmm. then we learned to swim after. And I'm so blessed that we did. And um, that was, you know, a goal of just stepping out of comfort zone last year. Where mm-hmm. that was a lot of my goals that I wanted to do. So, yes, I think breaking it down. Do you do that too? To breaking oh, yes. it, yeah, completely, yeah, and. Uh, one thing too to share with you, we've talked about um, you know mortgage and um, 
uh, agents, uh, lenders and agents, mm-hmm. is, you know, sometimes they'll make money and they're they're good, right? Yeah, and they're they're happy for a moment. Well, if that's happening, then I would I would go as far to say then they have not set goals, because if you have not broken down that goal to a daily task, then you realize that you've got to keep going or you're going to lose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you're if okay now. You know, I've I've made X amount of money or I've got that much in my pipeline. I can go take a week off. Mm-hmm. Well. Guess what? That's a week off that you're not going to have sixty days later. Right. Sure. Or, or yeah. The right. money that you're going to be missing. Right. And it, it's going to, you know, it's a compound effect at that point. So that, that's what a lot of folks just getting into this kind of business just fail to understand. Uh huh. Is that none of that stuff in that pipeline is guaranteed? Nope. You're right. It could go away tomorrow. You know. Um, it can fall apart on the very last day. This this fickle friend uh, called momentum can be there today and kiss you goodbye the next day mm-hmm. you know it just it's so so fragile sometimes that you've got to make sure you're past that critical point yeah dependent upon where what is your fallout rate you've mm-hmm. got to understand that and be work beyond it all the time mm-hmm. and 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 really not you know really put the pedal to the metal until you get there i never i never forget when uh, my third year in business for the for anybody thinking about this kind of thing is and, and you wanting to get started with goal setting. I had no idea about goals till about 35 years ago. I was, I was in the business for, well, I was in the business for three years at that point. And somebody said, I bet you can make a six-figure income. And I looked at them with a blank stare, not even knowing what I was even, what they're even, what does that mean? Sure, you know, I right. I didn't even know what it meant. Yeah. And then I wrote it down, those, those, those that number of figures, uh, you know, digits, and I thought, holy cow, that'd be a lot of money. <laughs> You know, I was a laid off power truck driver sure, yeah. you know, making about, you know, eighteen thousand dollars a year back in the mid eighties. And the idea of making six figures, are you kidding <laughs> me? So anyway, fortunately for me, I got a it just got in a book with from uh, Zig Ziglar called See with, or not See at the Top, but um, Goal Setting. And I just re, uh, reverse engineered what the value of each transaction was and realized I had to sell that many homes, because remember the average set Sales price was only sixty four thousand, so mm-hmm. it took a lot of those at a fifty fifty split, and actually that was part of my inspiration of leaving that office and going out and finding a hundred percent company was when I started doing the math on on what it what it would take, you know, and I and um, and so anyway, I'll never forget uh, the end of that year that I actually accomplished that six figures, and I thought, holy cow, wow. this. So if it's that easy, next year I'm going to make two hundred thousand. There's no compulsive behavior there, is there, <laughs> and so And then it all started. <laughs> it all started. I know, and the bar gets raised, you know. And then well, you do. You I mean, you if you're an overachiever, yeah. that's what you do. And that's what I, in, in long story short, I, I actually made over 200000 that that fourth, uh, fifth year in business. So so I'm all about goal setting because I, I mean, it, I'm a big believer that if we don't have goals out there, we're a wandering generality rather than a meaningful specific. I think that's really important. Yeah, you know, from a, from a lending standpoint, the, the thought of ever achieving that 100 million dollar mark was way out of you know the realms i would watch the youtube videos and i would just be in awe of all these people Mm -hmm. right and um i would just constantly look up like a little kid you know in awe and and i put that on one of my goals one year and i said you know i'm going to figure this out there's got to be a way to figure this out i can do this you know i just maybe have to work a little harder or i have to change or shift number one my mindset i needed to get that right and number two i had to maybe add a few more you know, things to the mix, you know, to, uh, to get it to, to get to the top. But, you know, it was the, when we hit that number, wow, it was just something that was climbing the tallest, you know, statue there at uh, her hill or mountain at that point. And then to hit it, it was just awesome. But you can't go underneath it now. Like you can't ever be, you, <laughs> the bar is there, right? right? right so, right. um, and that you got people watching now. <laughs> yeah, you know, somebody put on a show the other day. Oh, well, we they're looking at us. Uh, we've got to take a quick break. But when we come back, I'll tell you a little bit more about what uh, they were telling on that show. You've been listening to The Talk of Music City Real Estate. Super Talk 99.7 WTN, the talk of Music City Real Estate. Where we educate and motivate all things real estate. Monty Moore here with Realty One Group Music City. And Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and My Mortgage Team. And Jason Hoover with the Hoover Team. (laughs) (laughs) Since you're not going to stay up, say it, will you? (laughs) I love it. There you go. So somebody's on this show, uh, Facebook Live, it's like a little TV show or whatever. And I chime, I just watch, you know. And then they've realized that you're on. So then they start talking about you or whatever. And so then they were like, what's her big goal for this year? You know, like, that's what I'm saying. The bar was raised. Yeah, so then yeah. 
people want you to continue to raise it like it's like it's fun for them. Do you know? I was like, that's a lot of hard work. Yeah, exactly. On this side, you know, to hit exactly. those numbers. So exactly. I wanted to th- throw out there, Bob. you know, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want to go on that show too. Is that even That'd still so in existence? Yeah, oh, that would yeah. be a lot of fun. I watched the documentary of that show or whatever, but that was a good one. But let's get back because we have a lot to talk about. In a short time. In a short time, yes. So we were talking about breaking down the goals. So do you do that? So what, you're going to share a story. I just shared it. That oh, the guy was oh, on the cheap. The yeah. <laughs> okay. That he wanted me to keep right. going. And, uh, Come on, Jason. All these people are watching out there. And I was like, I wanted to respond on the little show just to say, what's Carrie Ann's big goal? And I, to retire. But I was like, that might, <laughs> nah. 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 I'd never happening. retire. That's certainly not one of my re- my goals. No, Much I just. Much to Connie Sue's dismay, you know, it's, she'd really like for us to go, re- you know look at that someday. You know what we did instead? What did you, you do? You don't know about this yet. Oh, do you Uh-oh. want to say it on the air? You are on the Uh-oh, air. Oh, I am on the air, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> we should ask. We, we are opening up a second office. You are? One in Nashville. What? Wow. Yes. Yes. One in Nashville. There you go. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> I love you. that. Thank you. We haven't really made the official announcement, I guess, until just then, did we? <laughs> <laughs> it is on the radio. It's now official. So, Realty One Group is going to Nashville. Nashville, Yes. We're going to have the talk Fantastic. of Music City, Realty One Group, That's Music right. City. I love yeah, it. We've, we've, we're almost at 100 agents now in just a year's time. And thanks to Jason here, he's really helped us uh, kick, kick it up to this next level. And we're just attracting such such amazing people. Every, every huddle call, every Monday morning on a huddle call, sometimes I just want to weep with gratitude. I'm just so, so, so That's grateful. so good. Just yeah. So grateful. Well, that's a goal in itself for growth, and you've yes. done that this past year, and yeah. then you're you're soaring to new heights this year. This is awesome. But that was a goal to be able to do that, you know, and so it's grateful for that. Though this it's seeing the manifestation of that goal. I mean, I think achieving the goals too is mm-hmm. so is so fun, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you, it's like a game, you know. To it me, is. I'm I'm high well, you high D. Yeah, and then you're like, can you do it earlier in the year, you know, mm-hmm. or, um, and then. The goal would be to try to find more time to spend with family and things as well. That's a big goal for me. Um, And I'm very blessed that we were very structured in the house so Mm -hmm. that I'm very understanding that I have so much time. You know, there's only so much time in a day, right? 12 hours, really. 10 hours, depending on what time you wake 16, up, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then having a kid, you know, a child that you want to make sure, you know, that there is that important as well. Yeah, that's where I don't, that's where I, my mind just loses it when I see what you're doing and you have a child that thinks you're superwoman and oh, you are. Well, thank you, know. you. But you know, it, there is, there is a lot, but then you find the, those extra holes and you're like, Oh, I could breathe. But then you stuff them with other mm-hmm. opportunities or, you know, new businesses you want to yeah. start and this and that, you know, I think that spirit of, you know, just continuing to grow um, personally and in business might just be some in our, in our soul there, you know, well, a I lot of part, us. Part of it also, also is I think the universe abhors, abhors a, a vacuum. I think it, prefers continual growth. Mm-hmm. I really believe that. Uh, can I share a, a story? Yeah, do that. Kinda on that that topic. Um, and it kind of goes into being mindful of your business and your time. Mm-hmm. Um, the, you know, the three of us were very highly driven, obviously, we can mm-hmm. tell that. <laughs> and No. <laughs> that, <laughs> and it, it it's a double-edged sword. Right. Right. Yeah, sure and we got to be careful with it. Sure it sure is. And I apologize. <clears throat> well, I kind of had uh, uh, an experience. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I kind of had a um, a life moment mm-hmm. uh, years back in the back when uh, we had first moved here. Mm. I was always working, mm-hmm. and you know, at that point, I was in uh, corporate and I was running two businesses. I was kind of in a startup mode with another business, and you know, I was doing everything. Sure. To provide for my family, mm-hmm. you know, because that's the way I thought I was supposed to be. Um, and one night, I I get home um, from a trip, had a day off to regroup, and then I was going on another trip uh, to another uh, uh, corporation to do a presentation. And I crawl in bed. Everybody's in bed. Crawl in bed. My wife. Uh, I don't know. I shared with. Have I shared this with you? Mm-mm. Okay. I, sh- I crawled in bed and, and my wife um, was laying there and, and all she said was, you may want to spend some time with your son tomorrow before you leave. And my son at the time was about three years old, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Mm-hmm. And 
so as you can imagine, I'm laying there, I'm going, this is not going to end well. <laughs> That's not right. a, a statement. I said, okay. So I took a little bit and I was like, all right, why? What, what, what's this about? Right. And she said, well, tonight at dinner, I, I was cooking dinner and he came in and um, said, mommy, can you marry another man? Oh, Wow. Wow. And so she stopped and sat down. And you got to think, a three year old processing mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Uh, she sat down and put him in, his la- or put him in her lap. And she said, uh, Why would you say something like that? Right. And he said, Well, that way I can have two dads one that will, that works all the time, and one that will play with me in my room. Mm-hmm. 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 I had no words to say after right. that. That shook my whole life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would love to be able to say, you know, everything changed right at that moment. I was able to quit my job. Sure, and, yeah, mm-hmm. no. But uh, I did take off the next day. I just, you know, told the uh, the owner of the company, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take off this day. Uh, I'll still see you in uh, North Carolina. Uh, but I spent the whole day with him that day. And But that really brought focus into why I do what I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't care about the bicycles. They don't care about the trampolines. That's all fun. They care about you mm-hmm. being there, being a dad, being a mom in their life. That's why when we set these goals, money is not the objective. It's what you're able to do with it. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. And my my objective always, ever since then, is that I want to be there with my family. Family time trumps anything. And we do. We have a great time being a family. Mm. And we've made so many memories. We don't have a lot of stuff anymore because we really don't want it. But right. just like I said, we bought these Christmas gifts of going to the movies. Yeah. So we go you to do, movies Do family together. activities. Yeah, yes. that's a great, great mm-hmm. thing. And you know, maybe I can encourage people out there is, you know, it's great to, you know, be so highly motivated and to go after things. But at the end of the day, you've got to understand what matters in your life. Mm-hmm. And don't, you know, luckily for me, I had a three-year-old put me in check. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, And I am so highly grateful for that. Mm -hmm. You know, have I messed up since then? Yeah, because you get involved and you Mm -hmm. get driven and you start, you know, and I have to reel myself back in. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, it's, and I guess in 2020, keep that focus on, you know, what's important in life. Oh, absolutely. You know, and the other thing too is keeping your health in check. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we get so single-minded on one path and then we forget the other, Mm -hmm. you know, so balancing that out. And then, you know, you train yourself physically, you go to the gym, things like that. I haven't seen that in six months, but maybe we'll get back on that (laughs) track. But you forget that you need to train your mind because throughout that whole the next year you know there's going to be so many ups and downs especially in our businesses you know in sales in general right Mm -hmm. and being ready to have that mindset to understand and have that bounce back and being Mm -hmm. prepared is is important too because it's not easy sometimes you know you get that you know let down part it's just hard to to bounce back but you know having that family piece is is really important you know i think having a little one six to eight is my time every night you know, you're forced to play games and be the, the cat that needs a new heart as my daughter's the veterinarian, you know, <laughs> you pretend, you know, like that's the important part because, you know, yeah. they, they remember those times for sure, yeah. for sure. But that was a... Uh, Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, you gave me that goosebumps. Really spoke to my heart, man. Yeah. Thank you. I, Absolutely. I've got, I've got some grandkids that I need to spend some time with. Yeah. Thank you. It's always a pleasure having you, Jason, on, in well, the studio. You. We just thank you, everybody, for, for listening. We're going to be back here next Sunday, 5 p.m. You've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate.